I think you've seen how the 1% do in Britain. How about the 0.1%? Here's five things that mega rich have dropped bank on in Britain's capital. How about a touch of retail therapy? London's famous for its luxury retail, but Bonhams is a store with a difference. We're the only major auction house to be run by auctioneers. So we have 60 different departments which specialize in anything from motorbikes and cars, contemporary art, fine art, through to the major collectibles. The house was the original auctioneer for cult artist Banksy. And while we can't show you the faces of those bidding, we can show you some of the bills. Their more recent sales, August 2014, a wealthy buyer spent a record-breaking nearly $34 million on a Ferrari 250 GTO. In October 2014, the house sold the first Apple One computer for some $900,000. And in April 2013, a world record was set for a blue diamond at $9.2 million. How about a celebratory drink at the former One for One Park Lane nightclub? Their Armand de Brignac champagne broke the record with a wealthy American gambler dropping $180,000 in 2011. If that drink is proving a little stiff, how about an investment property? This penthouse apartment at One Hyde Park officially became London's most expensive residence last year when it sold for $208 million. Oh, and by the way, these pictures are of a show home. The apartment is what developers call core and shell. No walls or fittings, essentially a completely empty space. Not looking to enter the property market just yet? How about a lie down inside an art installation? This is the brand new Beaumont Hotel and looking to attract attention in a sea of luxury five-star establishments will the owners commission this, a giant metal sculpture created by famous artist Anthony Gormley that you can actually sleep inside of. The hotel has called the art installation come statue, cavernous, dark, and a mysterious space. The critics have been a little less generous, likening it to a padded cell or even a tomb. People were very reticent at first, and now it's gained momentum, so that now people are starting to vibe for it. And while we can't film inside of it, if you want to check wow. out the digs for yourself, it'll set you back an uncomfortable $3,700 a night. Finally, how about guaranteed seats to the ultimate British pastime? Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich, he purchased Chelsea Football Club for $208 million. But that's just the signing package. The kicker, how about an eye-watering $73.4 million? That's the loss the Chelsea Club made in 2013.